Right now on the phone, we've got Liz from the MTV show My Life as Liz. Liz Lee, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. You sound uh, just like you do on the show, which I like to hear. I was, I was afraid you were going to be like a big booming man or something on the phone. Um, well, let me get some stuff. Tell us about the show. For people that haven't seen My Life as Liz, it's kind of hard to describe because it seems like a weird mix of like sitcom, documentary, reality TV. Explain what the show is to people. It's kind of like Daria meets my so-called life. Okay, that's kind of a, a cool way of summing it up. And how did it come to be? Like, how did MTV have an idea for a show and they cast it and they found you? Or was this show built around you? Or what? how did that all go down? Um, when there was a girl in my broadcast journalism class that was looking through a forum and saw that MTV was looking for a cast for a spinoff of their show called The Paper, which was about a journalism program in another high school in Florida. And, um... We approached the rest of the class, and we all um, sent in uh, videos, answering questions, and then when MTV came down to finish the casting, they sort of found a different storyline, and it sort of morphed into my life. Excellent. Very cool. Well, what, is this something that you've wanted to do, or did it just kind of happen? I mean, like, what, what are you planning to do after this? Are you going to go live a normal life, or has this kind of made you decide you want to do something more in front of the camera? Um, I never intended on, like, having my own show. I never wanted to. It was, it, it just kind of happened. Um, and I am currently going to school. Uh, education is a really high priority of mine. Mm-hmm. So. What, what do you have to say about, I'm sure you've definitely heard about all the, there's somebody that like put up a website and stuff with all sorts of information that's saying that like you've created this whole fantasy world and fantasy Liz that the show is all built around. Is that all bogus or did you change some stuff about the normal Liz for the show? No, it's completely bogus. I'm the same Liz that I have always been. So when he says you're a lying, manipulative drug addict who will do anything for your moment of attention and popularity, that's not true. Um, no. That would not be true at all. A lying, manipulative drug addict. Yeah. Wow. That, that's what, he's the one, he goes on like, I'm, did you, have you heard about that? Where, I mean, he says you don't, like, you didn't even know what Star Wars was before oh, the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, the terrible thing is, I'm, like, reading this, and I'm like, oh, that's ridiculous, I'm a drug addict, blah, 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 and then I'm like, doesn't even know who Luke Skywalker is! Who does this guy think he is? Are you kidding me? Like, I work hard to get my nerd cred. I was on StarWars.com for a reason. I am, like, obsessed in third grade. He, I know who Mara Jade Skywalker is, his love interest that's not even in the movie. So you, so this, this guy is just some guy out to get attention or something you do oh yeah out for blood it's crazy i mean i know the like the combat styles when it comes to dueling with lightsabers i mean i know <laughs> different jedis and their alien races like ala sakura she's twilek Good. I was. I agree. I agree. <laughs> are these are the people that are on your show, Liz? Are they actual friends, or did they kind of come in and cast some of these people? You know, to be. I mean, and not cast them like actors, but I mean, like, is Sully really your best friend that you hang Sully out with? Sully my main time? man. He really I chat is. with him all the time. Video chat. Like, I have to see his face at least once a week. I'm so I'm kind of heartbroken for Sully because like I was watching the episode uh, on my computer last night of the the prom one where you get rejected for prom and then end, end up asking Sully, uh -huh. and I was like he's he reminds me of me in high school like kind of the like fat goofy funny kid though that like doesn't have a real shot you know but is still just cool and then you're like the girl that he's madly in love with and it's like I just you know, he he's setting himself up for a big letdown at some point. Like, do you ever feel bad that it's like, you know what, like, this guy is cool and he's my friend, but really, he just wants to get in my pants and me hanging out with him this much might be leading him in the wrong direction? Um, you know, we were friends before. I don't think he just wants to get into my pants. Liz. He's really, really great. No, I'm telling you, he's, he's so innocent and amazing. 
he's one of the greatest guys I've ever met in my entire life. Ever. I I was that guy. I would, and all my hot girlfriends would have these boyfriends, and they're like, they're so mean, they're such jerks. Like, I wish he could just be like you. Why can't all guys be so amazing like you? And I'm like, I know. I don't. Why don't you just <laughs> date me? And then finally, they'd be like, Hey, maybe we should go out sometime. And see, and then they just crush you, and you become suicidal, hiding in your closet. It's just a bad, a bad ending. But Sully's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen with him. Oh, I mean. Definitely not going to end up suicidal in a closet. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, he's he's amazing. He's been my friend since before the cameras even showed up. Um, me and Troy have been friends since eighth grade, best friends since eighth grade in Miss Lander's English class. Wow. Um, yeah. So. Very cool. Well, uh, what about the uh, the? Are any of these characters on the show like somebody that MTV found and like made a more prominent part of your life, or were these all characters there before? Like, was Corey Cur- Co- Corey Cooper al- always kind of your arch nemesis? Corey Cooper has been my arch nemesis since ninth grade. Oh, it's funny because she's like, I'm not really that mean, and I'm like, you've been that mean since ninth grade. Don't even play with me. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, sometimes she is pretty mean. I watch it, and I'm like, she seems like a stereotype of, like, the mean girl. And then sometimes I see her, and it's like, she's a, she's a good-looking little girl. She's the she's the kind of girl that's just going to skip college and stuff and just go and start drinking and playing beer pong every night of the week after high school. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's totally her. How do people treat you at school? I mean, because the show, did you ever have to go to school after the show was done filming? Just, like, normal school, no cameras? Yeah, you know, the amazing thing is it didn't really change anything. Really? It was just you were um, still the the nerdy Star Wars girl and everybody yeah, else? People weren't like, oh, you have an MTV show. I think it be nice to you. They're like, why the hell does she have an MTV show? Yeah, why, did, why don't I have an MTV show? Uh, yeah, like, why did that loser have an MTV show? Are you st- are you done with high school now? Was this filmed, like, last school year? Uh, yes. And so are you in college now, going to school? Yes, sir. And what about Sully? What's Sully up to? Sully's still in high school. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he was b- below you. He's got to be a pimp now. I mean, just being on that show and, you know, seeming so nice. He's got High school's got to be good for Sully. Dude, it better be. I like him. If girl ever breaks his heart, <laughs> got to answer to me. You'll, you'll lightsaber fight him in the true Jedi style. Oh, yeah. Liz Lee from My Life is Liz. Hey, Liz, it's been good talking to you, and uh, people can check out the show on MTV. And also, if they need to catch up on some episodes, can go to MTV.com and watch some past episodes. Good luck in uh, college, and hopefully uh, big things happen for you in the future, Liz. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings' number one hit music station, Hot 101.9.